when you look at your golf shoes, ask yourself, how old are they? Hi guys, it's Amy, your golf coach. Welcome to Seniors Must Do series. We're gonna learn in depth about your joint health in relation to your golf swings. So let's just go straight into the interview. I first got referred to you by a student when I first moved here, it was 2011. I had a lot of back issues and I remember she was like, you know, you should go see him. And I was like, he's a Cairo. I was like, mm. then you fixed my back. <laughs> and I think what Amy is he's saying the best. <laughs> is that I have a lot of experience with uh, sports injuries. So another problem we see with golfers is the feet. Okay. What about so the So the feet are your foundation and every swing involves your feet. You... Have, you, have you been watching my lessons? Because I always talk about the grip and your foot movement. And so the feet <laughs> I love this. play a big role in the injuries in golf. Wow. And so let's just start off with the fact that when you look at your golf shoes, ask yourself, how old are they? Because a lot of golfers, they buy a good pair of shoes that sits in their golf bag, but they're 10 years old. I'm like, I understand, but those golf shoes are wore out and they're no longer supporting your feet. They, yeah, they need to understand it's part of their performance, right? So it has to be fresh and be supporting your feet. Your shoes are as important as your driver, as important as your putter. There you go. So if you're spending a lot of money on your putter and your driver, well, you better start to spend some more money on your golf shoes or you're going to find that these injuries are going to prevent you from ever using your driver and putter. Yeah, so why? Why? Why does it do so that? So with solid foundation, now you have balance. And that is the key to a golf swing. And, That's and I key played to hockey, <laughs> so hockey is all about if you want to shoot the puck accurately, you got to have a good uh, foundation, you got to have good balance on your gr on the ground. With poor shoes that are broken down and have too much torque to them, now you're, you'll throw your balance off. And now you compensate. And when you're compensating, you're never going to have an accurate swing. Wow, you know, this, is, this talk is all possible because you're an athlete. This is so cool. <laughs> I know sports injuries because I've had most of them. <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> So, so that's awesome. Yeah, I want to hear more about the feet. So I, a lot of golfers want to have the metal spikes. Mm -hmm. Well, metal spikes are great when you're swinging for the fence. Mm -hmm. If you have an aggressive swing and you really want to drive that ball as far as possible, you got to have your feet grounded. However, as we get older, we're not swinging 300 yard drives. Mm -hmm. That's not possible because mm -hmm. it's just going to ag aggravate your body and cause injuries. So we want to slow the swing down. So to save your hips and knees and back, you want to go with spikeless shoes mm -hmm. so that your feet can move. Mm. So they can twist and they can absorb the torque and the, and, and the excessive uh, stretching of the knees, totally the hips, agree. and the back. And so that your feet can actually start to be shock absorbers, mm -hmm. not anchored to the ground with spikes so that now the knee gets twisted so much things tear. Mm. Your joints, yeah, it's protecting mm -hmm. your joints if your feet can move a little bit freely. I'm totally with you on that. Oh, somebody asked me about that, about the footwork. Like, are you supposed to be like grounded down with your feet and never let them move? And I'm like, if you do that, you could actually injure yourself. So if your body doesn't allow you to like plant, then it's okay for your two feet to move is what I always tell them. So I'm like totally in line with what you're saying. And again, we're golfing to enjoy the game. Yes. So this is not about trying to show how strong we are mm -hmm. or how good we are. We want to have the game within our own body's limits. Yes. And if you're going to play outside your limits, you won't be playing. So these are little tips to kind of make sure that you are staying within the buoys yeah. and you're not running into the rocks. Yeah, I mean, we really want to prevent injuries because not only are we not going to be able to play golf, but it's going to affect your everyday daily life, right? And you're going to be miserable being in pain. And, you know, I had to give up a little bit of distance since my all my injuries, um, hitting it not as long as I used to on tour, but I'm able to finish 18 holes and I'm enjoying golf a lot more because I'm in less pain. She's been taught. <laughs> <laughs> I love to hear it. <laughs>